Uh, I like my cocoon right away, so I don't want to look like an orphan either. So come on up, please. Um, we've had a theme here, one of my favorite themes, food. A donut shop, In-N-Out Burger. Um, so, come on over, come on over. Um, in my eyes, Ethan is more than just a wrestler, but that's how I met him. And that's the first impact he made on me, was his wrestling. I was a wrestler in high school. He's a wrestler. Um, so I was like, okay, what are some great wrestling quotes? And of course, <laughs> you know, Hulk Hogan is not known for his words, but my coach, Coach Gama, used to say two things. Um, one goes with our theme of food. Dale el mole, which means give them the mole. So mole is the most traditional of all Mexican dishes. And a good mole has at least 16 to 17 ingredients. So you're saying give it everything you got. Give everything you got. The other thing that he would say is if you're gonna wrestle a gorilla, you don't stop when you're tired. You stop when the gorilla's tired. <laughs> and that, those two really kind of were in my head when, as soon as I saw Ethan's name come up on uh, our Rising Star nomination forms. Because this is a kid who knows determination. This is a kid who doesn't know the meaning of the word quit. And I'm not just talking about on, in wrestling, in life, in classroom, with friends. The impact he makes at our school really embodies the values of our school and really embodies the idea of impact over outcome. Because when you're on that, mat, uh, on that wrestling mat, you want to win. And you won't quit until you win, but sometimes you don't. But if you've made that impact, that wrestler at the end of that match is gonna reach over to you and shake your hand and thank you for giving, you, giving him all you've got, right? So I wanna thank uh, Ethan for giving the school and his friends and our community all that he's got. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's... Good morning, guys. Good morning, my name is Ethan Escamilla, and today I'm here with my father, Eddie Escamilla, as well as my teacher, Kit Camille Brown. To me, it was a surprise to be picked because, I mean, to be picked, and not just that, but to be nominated to my, by my teachers. I never thought to, of being chosen to be the Rising Star of the Month. For me personally, I've helped improve my school in showing my potential strength and through responsibility, integrity, and commitment. An example of this would be if I'm having a rough day, I don't take it out. On, I don't take my frustration out on my fellow classmates or teachers, since I know that in the moment we can say words that we truly don't mean. An important lesson I've learned in my short years of life is whenever I have doubts in myself, I take, I look back and remember the battles and challenges I've won and I fears, the fears I've overcome. That's when I leave for college. This quote will always be behind in my behind my mind. I can overcome any challenge, any challenge, challenges with the strength of God and my family by my side. I'm planning to go on, um, planning on going to Palmer College for two years, then transferring to a four-year university to get my degree in nursing. I chose this career because I want to be the nurse that brightens up a patient's day, just like the nurses have done for me. I want to thank those who are present here today and especially a big thanks to our sponsors. I hope you have a wonderful day, guys. Thank you. So I need to do a little clarification for all of you. Um, Ethan has overcome a lot. I'm a special ed teacher at RBV, and um, I've known Ethan for four years. He's been on my caseload. When he was very young, um, he was in a terrible car accident and he lost his mom. And um, he has suffered traumatic brain injury and severe memory loss. And in spite of all of that, he is such an outstanding student and an outstanding human being. And um, he has touched so many of us at our school 
and I'm so proud to have nominated him for this award. Um, I too wrote down a few things that I'd like to share with you so you can get to know um, Ethan through my eyes. He makes a difference at RBV by being a positive role model for his classmates. He's overcome serious traumatic brain injury and continues to excel at his academics. He inspires others by demonstrating how much he can truly uh, accomplish through his determination and his perseverance. Ethan is currently on the wrestling team. He's a midweight wrestler and he never misses a practice or a match. Ethan's very involved in his church. He's inspired by the singing which creates an uplifting energy within Ethan. Ethan claims that the music brings him peace and drives his positive attitude about life and his commitment to his future. Those around Ethan can feel his enthusiasm for life and his true desire to make good choices. Ethan is involved in the Best Buddies program at RBV. He attends meetings and is proud of the relationship he has developed with his best buddy. Ethan inspires his family because they are impressed by how he has not let his memory loss from his traumatic brain injury stop him from reaching his goals. He's been a good example for his family because he refuses to give up or to allow the complications from his physical issues to impede his learning. Ethan has overcome extreme personal loss more than anyone should have to endure. And he continues to show integrity and focus as he pursues his academic goals. Ethan stays strong and motivated despite the difficulties present in his life. He willingly helps others and shows genuine concern for those around him. He's sensitive and always speaks kindly about others especially his peers. He notices when a peer has accomplished a goal and shown improvement, and he isn't shy to share his acknowledgement of, acknowledgement of a job well done. I'm proud of Ethan Escamilla because of his strong character and his dedication to as a contrib contributing member of the RBV community. Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, just to be clear, uh, my wife's alive, but oh. Ethan's uh, sister, uh, she passed away in the car accident. It was a sister, sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, like you know, I'm, uh, I'm very proud my, uh, and honored that my son was selected to receive this award. I always have my doubts on my son after the accident. I don't know what so. <laughs> I'm so emotional, I've never been this way. <laughs> Maybe it's the first time. Um, but like I said, uh, Aiden has overcome life and death situations in his short life. The most recent one, this summer, he went through a brain surgery for the second time. I'm so proud that he, uh, he wants to fly back to his normal life at least to what I'm seeing here. Um, Aiden uh, has, over, has overcome many obstacles in short life and made him appreciate life even more for the ones that have uh, experienced traumatic uh, uh, events in their lives. So this is a, a, a life changing and it, touches, it marks your life forever. Um, Aiden is a very respectful person, caring, a motivator, genuine, and a team player. I believe this unique trait will help Aiden succeed in life. Um, at this time, I would like to thank everyone present. Uh, thank you for all the sponsors for uh, making this possible. And thank you um, for giving all the students another reason to uh, pursue their goals in life. Thank, thank you.